This is how I prepared to add in the signature. I used these products, um, this beeswax right here, the binder's thread, um, and I will show you the needle in just a little bit that I used. This technique right here I learned from Melissa Francis last year at the Scrapbook Expo. Um, you just take the binder thread and go ahead and pull it through the beeswax and it actually strengthens the thread as well as, you know, I think help it go through the pages in the book. So here I'm showing you that I used a template. Um, I used the same template for everything so that, you know, all the holes are in the same spot um, and I'm showing you here that's how the first signature came out and you can see here how it's in there it's nice and tight I really think that that beeswax helps a lot it just really makes it like I said a lot stronger I I, I like it I I don't know I think it worked very well so here I am just making sure that I have this template in the right spot it's like you know, no second chances, right? <laughs> you got to get it right, like the first time. Otherwise, you messed up your journal. So I was a little bit nervous doing this. You know, this was my first um, junk journal. And I mean, it came out. I love the way it came out. And um, even these holes, they ended up being in the perfect spot. So I'm showing you here where they are, and it worked very well. And that binding, that yellow piece, is a piece of tape, um, like duct tape. So here I have the second signature that I'm going to add into this journal. So I'm putting all of the pages in order, and I'm taking my template. You'll see I moved that, that narrow piece up a little bit because I didn't want that top hole to be too close to the edge of it. And I go ahead right here and you will see that I guess I'm struggling a little bit because there's so many papers in this signature. Well, by the time I try to do the second hole, all of my papers are moving. Everything's moving now. So I'm like, oh, well, let me go back to the first hole and see if I can get all the papers back into order. Well, that didn't work. So I stopped everything put everything back in order and I used binder clips to hold it together and at that point I was able to you know make the holes and the pages stay together so I just used these um, little binder clips from Michaels and it worked quite well so I saw somebody do that on a YouTube video not my idea um, so here <clears throat> I'm going to show you that I'm going to take the needle and the thread at this point and go through and add the signature to the journal. I have to say I did not record that part of it because it took me a long time to do this um, and I didn't want to worry about a video so I just kind of did it and you'll see here that it is in you can see the size of the second one is bigger than the first one. Um, and again, I probably should have made two signatures out of that second one. But I'll show you right here that it's really in there very well. It's not going anywhere. It was just a struggle. It took me a long time to get that signature in. So now that it's in, I'm going to go and um, put in all my pockets and, you know, um, stamp and that kind of thing. And here I'm showing you the charm that I put in the middle of the signature. And I put a charm in the middle of the first signature as well using these Prima Vintage Trinkets. And I have the one set of lace um, on the back of the binding and I need to put the other set on. So I made sure that I ended putting that thread. Um, well, I put thread through it, right? And I'm going to tie it nice and tight several times because I don't want it going anywhere. So all I did was I made sure I had my seam binding and my laces cut. I put them in order, you know, so that they were all the same length or about and attached it 
uh, just by tying that together. And here's I'm showing you the charms that I used. Um, and then here are just some pictures. So this goes back to the beginning before the inside was done. Um, now I'm showing you I'm where I've got some things done. I did add a few more, um, you know, stamps or maybe little cards or whatever to the pages. But for the most part, um, it's done. So there's the charms that are on the binding, the outside of the journal. And you can see I've used some of my jelly plate prints, um, some of my Dina Wakely stamps, and just all kinds of goodies. I had so much fun putting this together. Um, I was able to use a lot of different ideas and um, these doilies I spray myself with acrylic paint and um, the stars right here is a stamp from somebody um, from Crazy Island Family. It was just a blast putting this all together. I was really able to go through my stash and pull out all kinds of stuff. Um, and incorporate it into this journal for Marina. I think it came out really, really nice. I used a lot of um, vellum, you know, a lot of stamps, envelopes, um, some paint. It was, it was a blast. So here is the back of the journal, and here is a picture of the binding. And here comes the front of the journal, and I hope you all liked it. Please subscribe and let me know what you think of it. Thanks, everyone.